In this video I'll explain how to select the top n highest values by group in a data frame. So without too much talk, let's get into it. So in this video I will show you three examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new data frame which is containing two columns, whereby the first column is containing our grouping indicator and the second column is containing numeric values. So let's assume that we want to select the top n highest values of this data frame. And then we can apply the functions of the basic installation of the R programming language, as you can see in lines 6 to 14 of the code. So in line six of the code, I'm using the order function to order our data frame based on the values column. So if you run line six of the code, a new data frame is created, which is called data new one. And then in the next step, I'm applying the reduce function in combination with the rbind function to keep only those values that are among the highest three values in each group. So in this case, I'm specifying that I want to keep the highest three values in each group. However, you could also specify a different value here. So if you run lines eight to 12 of the code, our data set is updated and we can print our updated data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data set, which is called data new one. And this data set is also consisting of a grouping column and a value column. However, this time we have kept only the highest three values in each group. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the functions of the basic installation to create a data set with the highest n values in each group. However, it is also possible to use add-on packages such as the dplyr package to create such a data set. And in the next example, I want to show you how to use the dplyr package to create a data set with the top three highest values in each group. So in order to use the functions of the dplyr package, we first need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 16 and 17. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 17 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package such as the group by function. So if we want to create a data set with the top three highest values in each group, we have to apply the code that you can see in lines 19 to 22. So in these lines of code, I'm first specifying our data set. Then I'm using the arrange and the desk functions to arrange our data based on the values column. Then I'm using the group by column to group our data based on the group column. And then I'm specifying with the slice function that I want to keep the highest three values in each group. So if you run lines 19 to 22 of the code, you can see that another data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data new two. And we can print this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 23 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a tibble object that contains the same values as our data frame subset that we have created in the first example. However, this time we have used the functions of the dplyr package and we have returned a table instead of a data frame. So another package that I want to show you is the data table package and the data table package can also be used to extract the rows with the highest values in a certain column by group. And in order to install and load the data table package, we can use the code that you can see in lines 25 and 26. I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 26 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the data table package. And in case you want to create a subset of a data frame that is containing only the top three highest values in each group, you can apply the code that you can see in lines 28 to 30. So if you run these lines of code, another data set is appearing at the top right of RStudio, which is called data new three. 
and we can print this data set to the RStudio console by running line 31 of the code. And then you can see that we have returned another data set with exactly the same values as in the previous two examples. However, you can also see that this is a data table instead of a tibble or instead of a data frame. So depending on if you prefer to work with a basic installation of the R programming language with a deep layer package or with a data table package, you might prefer example one, two or three. However, in this video, I have shown you different alternatives on how to return the highest values in each group of a data frame. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.